Well, good morning and welcome to today's edition of Three Moms and a Dad. I'm Tracy Humphrey. Um, I'm a meteorologist uh, slash reporter slash traffic slash I do it all um, here at ABC 10. And today we have two moms and we also have a dad and we have a great topic today. Our topic is manners. I personally thought we need to cover manners. We're going into the holidays. I want to know if other parents have some of the same uh, struggles uh, slash um, opportunities for improvement um, that I do with my daughter who's seven, year, uh, seven years old. Her name is Julian and I'm learning a lot about myself because I'm realizing that I fear judgment from others when my child misbehaves. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my own issue. Those are my triggers. I'm aware of that. So I'm hoping that will help me be a better parent. And so we're just gonna go just around the table, uh, giving names and tell us a little bit about your family dynamic. And then we're gonna get to the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, just me. Yes, it's okay. you. So I'm Princeton, Princeton Brennan. Uh, I'm an engineer for Intel and Folsom. Um, product development engineer. It's me, my wife, and my son. Mm -hmm. um, we're originally from the well. I'm originally from the south, um, Florida specifically. Okay. I was raised by my grandparents. Oh. And they're older, a oh. lot older. So. And you're African American, so manners were probably like really very, driven home. Very. My dad was a marine. I call him my dad. So my dad was a marine. Oh wow. Um, in Vietnam. Uh huh. And my mother was a guidance counselor slash math teacher. So it was no leeway about manners it was you do what you're told got you so okay very different now okay and you have a son how old four. four four years old yes so are you laying it down yet or no uh i'm <laughs> he's I'm, too, I'm learning he's too young i'm learning <laughs> i'm learning i'm taking my time um i am appreciative of how my parents raised me uh -huh. it was very strict but i do appreciate what came with that but as we go on in time, things progress and things change. So there are things I do want to adjust for him. Okay. Be a little bit more patient than Maybe my you're... marine father. Okay, <laughs> I like that. So uh, Somathy has been with us before and kind of reintroduce yourself for the viewers. So I'm Somathy and um, I am the um, youth commissioner for the District 1 Sacramento and I have two kids, eight and 14. And with eight, yes, manners, I have so many parent fails. <laughs> so, and reinforcing is, yes, it's like everyday thing. You have to keep reinforcing, reinforcing. We'll see how this conversation goes. <laughs> and as Tracy has told her, we have to be as honest as we should it. be. Yeah. So I'm going to try that. Okay, cool. And Demetra, tell us a little bit about you. I'm Demetra. I have two daughters, ages eight and four, and, you know, Manners and discipline is something that's very high on the list of, you know, my my to-do list as a parent. It's always on the, the back of my mind when they're out in public behaving and how they represent themselves in yeah. society. And it's a reflection of us. So Absolutely. this is how we kind of got to this. So yeah. earlier this week, there was an Arby's, a fast food restaurant. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Okay. They actually put a note on the door as you're walking into the restaurant and it says, Quote, only well-behaved children who can keep their food on their trays and their bottoms on their seats are welcome. If you can't do this, you will be asked to leave. So there's a mom, she walks up, she sees it, she, she has a toddler, she immediately gets nervous because she knows her kid probably is not gonna keep all the french fries on his tray. Right. She knows that he might stand up in the chair and she said she was so anxious, she actually doubted whether or not she should go in because now she felt all this undue pressure. Yes, yeah. So now I have to ask, you know, fellow parents, was it okay for the restaurant to try to set a standard of behavior or are children children and part of having an establishment is that you get all ages and we all kind of know kids Kids' behaviors kind of run the gamut. So whoever wants to chime in, just let me know what you think. I think personally, it depends on the venue. Okay. I think for an Arby's, that's a little unacceptable. Um, it's a fast food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a five-star restaurant. Ding, ding, ding. I can understand having a notice if you're going to a five-star restaurant mm -hmm. saying, you know, this is not an establishment for kids unless your kid is extremely well-behaved. Yeah, it's yeah. like setting a dress code attire at a restaurant, you know, jackets required. Mm. So I think that's acceptable when you have an establishment to that caliber. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you're paying $5.99, for an <laughs> and you eat it out. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think that is the most ridiculous thing I have seen. You know, it's fast food. The kids are going to go there. Granted, I think, um, 
I've seen some pretty unruly kids like Oh, I way over yeah. that line yeah. to where you're yeah. like the parents aren't even paying attention whatsoever but to set that to um that bar such a high bar it is, is a high yeah. bar it's crazy yeah. okay so Mati, uh princeton what do you guys think i agree with demetra's thing about uh depending on the establishment and i agree because if you are conducting a business meeting in a restaurant you would not want to have kids of uh, right you know unruly Correct. kids but in a fast food restaurant, no. This is where I think it's their unwinding time and also an unwinding time for a mom. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think that was acceptable at that part. But at the same time, even if you're in a fast food restaurant or any other restaurant, that behavior, uh, the manners are essential, like thank you and pleases. Yeah. They are very essential, whether you're in a fast food or wherever you are. Okay. But yes, unruly depends on the which kind of restaurant you want to go in. Got you. So, Princeton, what do you think? Dad, no pressure. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> so, okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> uh -oh. so, He's going to break it down. Go um, ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, here's the thing. So, you have three sides, right? You have the business. Okay. You have the parent or parents, and then you have the child. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's fair to the child because we've all had toddlers at some point or another, and we understand it's not easy. It's always a chasing thing. It's always a please, please stop, stop, please, yeah. over and over and over. However, from a business standpoint, I don't think it's uh, fair for me to say, I view your business as such, so you don't have the right to tell me how oh. you should run your business. That's a good perspective. Your requirements for coming into the business. Okay. Um, on the flip side, uh, from the parent's perspective, I do think there was a better way of Mm -hmm. illustrating how we want you to behave or how you, how we want you to carry yourself because legally I mean they have the right to, to say, say hey yeah. let's not be too much but um, I do think from a parent standpoint I would be slightly offended, offended. offended yeah. but I would just figure out hey I don't like any other thing if I don't like this I'll go somewhere else exactly right. or I'll go through drive through and just make it easy oh, that's a good point so here's the thing if, if we were all getting ready to walk into this restaurant and you, you stop at the door and you're reading that, do you go in or do you say, maybe I want to go someplace else? Would you have changed your mind? Would you have still gone in with that sign on the door? The, um, the ages of my children, oh, so they're fine. able to adhere to yeah. it. But mm -hmm. if they were younger, that would have made me feel just as comfortable because you know it puts um, a lot of pressure on you. Obviously, it's still your job to make sure your kids are doing what they're supposed to. So if I had a two-year-old there and they're throwing French fries, mm -hmm. I'm picking up the French fries. I'm addressing their issue. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not leaving a huge mess. I think maybe that's something that they were worried about. Yeah. Having their clean employees up. have to clean up unnecessary mess. So I think as parents, we need to be responsible for our children. Okay. Um, but I would still be concerned, you know, if she, like, stands up on the bench if they would be like, oh, that's not okay here. And yeah. I would feel uncomfortable. So I would not have gone into the establishment. Yeah, so I so here's what ended up happening. It ended up going to corporate. Corporate says, oh, we're so sorry that our local establishment yeah. did that. They yeah. took down the sign yeah. and made the apology. So yes. I do want to say we are on YouTube. Uh, so if you are a YouTuber and you're watching and you have comments, please chime in, give us your comments if you have any questions. And also, so now we also already have comments from parents who've already yeah. chimed in on Facebook. Yeah. So we're going to go through some of those. If you have some feeling about one of the comments, feel free to chime in okay. as well, okay? <laughs> so here are some of our comments. We'll start things off. This one came in from Denise, and she said, the expectation has to be set at home. There's time to play in or outside. Then there's shopping behavior. There's park behavior, restaurant behavior, visiting behavior. A gentle reminder before leaving the car, then threaten them when everything with everything you've got. <laughs> Just kidding. That's Denise. Now, I will tell you, that's my mom said. My mom would say, of course, I grew up in Alabama. If you show out on me, I'm going to show out on you. <laughs> so when we go up in here, you know, you don't do anything. And yeah. so she would give me the look. Mm -hmm. And so when I got the look, I was like, and besides, she didn't take us in often. So when I got in, I was like, oh, this is so wonderful. So but it's the same thing that happens with me and my youngest, because I tell him, if you behave badly, you will see a bad mommy in the night today. Because he knows that I I'm like going to take away all his screen time and TV time and his cookie time. So he knows. Actually, uh, I was reading an article in which they said that uh, 
good be good manners are the awareness of uh, being sensitive towards the awareness of others feelings mm. oh, okay which makes so much of sense now when i look back yes because we are actually making the other feel m good or nice okay. by doing all these polite and kind things mm. yeah, yeah so that's why i think it's essential to have those lines when we go out with kids so they have and that's very true with the park behavior are. and people visiting behavior and you visiting behavior and yeah you have to keep enforcing right all the time yeah, all so the time here's another one this is alexander quote authoritative parenting no not apathetic or uninvolved not authoritarian nor permissive authoritative what do you think he's getting at there authoritative uh, it sounds like he's using the same word over and over. <laughs> um, but I, I do understand um, from a from a father's standpoint, especially having a boy, like you you feel like almost a pressure to make sure that he follows. Yeah, in my family, the father drew the line more than my mom. When my dad spoke, it was he. You know, his voice yes. had a different resonance. Yeah. My yeah. mom could say the same thing over and over again. My dad walked in the room and everything like, stopped. Yeah. So and you feel that pressure, Dad? I do. I do <laughs> feel that pressure, partly because of society and partly yeah. because of how I was raised. Right. Being from the South, it is very different. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I do feel that pressure, but I don't want to be too hard on them. So I do understand the back and forth between, you know, not a dictatorship almost, but yeah. kind of be authoritative with compassion. With compassion. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a good one. And word. I think it's also uh, because every family and household is different. So you can have a one set of parenting style in a right. house to raise a child. Right. So with my case, I have two kids and I have two different parenting styles because they are two different, different individuals. Children, right. Correct. And we talked about it earlier as well that it has to be whatever works within the family. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you are raising a good adults. Yes rather than just whether it's authoritatively you're doing it or you're doing it in a love way or whichever way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I take away screen time, so. It's not a one size fit all. It yes, exactly, right. that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Every family is different, every child is different. So you don't know, and then there are kids on spectrum. Yeah. And you can yeah, have sure. them go to the restaurant and see these labels. What about those parents? Mm -hmm. Do they not want to yeah. go out with their kids? Those kids don't want to go? Mm -hmm. So that's a different thing, so it, it's, it's, it's very, weird yes. and different how to approach these situations in different yeah. circumstances. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, very good point. Here's two more uh, comments. Uh, Erica, quote, I punished bad behavior. I didn't reward, I didn't reward good behavior. Hmm. Did she mean that? I punished bad behavior. I did not reward good behavior. The child doesn't get anything? Okay. <laughs> maybe she meant, maybe she meant, and I don't know Erica, but if I'm saying this, maybe she meant I, I punish bad behavior and I rewarded good, good behavior. Good, yeah. yeah. And then last is Mary. Quote, I teach my son to be helpful when we are out and about. He loves having responsibilities, even at 19 months. He puts food in the cart and then on the conveyor belt, he behaves because he has something to do. I completely agree with right? that. Right? So we went to Target last night, uh -oh. late night. Okay. Uh, I have both my girls with me, and I'm like, okay, we don't need a cart. We're going in for like two things. It's how it always it's is. It's Target. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. can do that. So, you know, we didn't ground that much, but, you know, I'm walking around and I'm looking at aisles, and my four-year-old, it's, you know, getting late, and she's, you know, getting a little excited. She's, she's not really misbehaving, but she's not standing there as still what time as I is want it? her to. It was probably about seven. Yeah, so I don't go out past yeah. out there. So, you know, she's wanting to run around her That's sister a, a little bit, and her sister's getting frustrated, and I'm like, you guys need to knock it off. So, you know, one of the things that I did was I had her stand in a square tile that's sitting there, you mm. know, and I'm like, okay. And I give clear boundaries. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, a set discipline. So I tell her, if you don't stay in the square while I'm in this aisle picking out this item, you're gonna lose your tablet privileges for the next day. And she stood in the square? And she stood in the square. And oh, then wow. another thing that I did when we were walking through, I noticed her wanting to touch things. And I'm like, you can look, you can't touch. Mm. So what I did was give her something to carry. It keeps her hands occupied oh, and smart. it gave her a responsibility, like she was saying. Mm -hmm. And it made me laugh because it made me think of um, working dogs service dogs yeah. yeah what the they tell you is that when they have their vest on they know it's like work time oh got you oh. it gives them a responsibility and when the vest comes off that's how they know it's their like freedom so i kind of applied the same behavior to my daughter i had her carry something and it gave her like an official 
responsibility. Like, I have to carry this item mm -hmm. all the way to the okay. checkout. So I just want to say, I'm impressed that your child stayed in that tile. Yeah. So, because when you, when, cause <laughs> you must give, like, I know you nice and sweet here, but when, my, when, when bad mommy comes out, she must be, like, intimidating. Because if I told my yeah. child to stay within the tile, I probably got 20 seconds. Yeah, they, uh, they are no stranger to mean mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely uh, are you a disciplinarian. Are you a look person? Or, or I you got am. a deeper voice? I am. You'll see me a lot, like, do this to the kids. Like, Oh, that's a good one. You know, look at them. Like, they know. I'm like, don't test me. I do the counting thing, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, count to three. And at two, they start running. Mm -hmm. I'm like, <laughs> they know they're going to lose a lot of things. I'm like, there's no more play dates. I'm going to, you know, You're firm. take out, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you enjoy your freedom, don't lose it. Oh, wow. Okay, so, so. <laughs> we remember we talked about Erica, uh, my producer made a clarification. What she meant was, I punished bad behavior, I didn't reward good behavior because good behavior is expected. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. what she no, meant by that. Yeah. Okay. So I, 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 firstly, that's amazing. <laughs> um, because my son does not <laughs> work like that. He's very... You look. Twenty seconds is long for him. It's, That's well, because is. we have August birthday. So those kids, they yeah, we have three August, three, August, three so Leos over Leos. here. So, they they love the responsibility, but as you say, the twenty seconds yeah. are yeah. long enough. Mine is more of a um because I know how my voice comes off. It's uh. Do you it's have like a mean a, daddy look? It's a it's a mean look, but it's more of like my tone. Yeah. Because no. I play with I like playing with them too much, so it's different. Hey, can you hey, us? a quick hey oh. oh. is. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That one he knows immediately. He hears that. Yeah, and he I got stops. it. I yeah. got a little fur. <laughs> <laughs> For but, yeah. me, I would just look into his eyes. I'll just bend down and look into his eyes. I said, "You need to stop it right now." Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he that would. would not uh, work he for would. My yeah. Time. Yeah, my son yeah. is yeah. fearless. That, yeah. That, that, I That's tried. That's mine is. Um, but. Yeah. It probably lasts all the five seconds. Yeah, they test your patients all the time, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just going to share here. Uh, my daughter's not saying this. She's seven. But lately in uh, classroom, my te uh, her teacher said. We're having issues with her acting out, meaning she gets bored. Um, she's she already knows something, so she doesn't know what to do with her hands, and she would so she's crawling around on the oh. floor and she's doing all these things. And I'm trying to assert to her, it doesn't matter how smart you are, it doesn't ma matter how bright you are, if you are not well behaved, people will not make room for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But how do you give that to a seven year old so that they can receive it? And so we've been taking away um, screen time or yeah. she has less opportunities for things at home. Yes. But I will tell you, when she acts out in school, I feel it is a direct reflection yeah. Yeah. on I, me. I take it so personally. So my uh, son, eight-year-old, is very hyperactive too. Yeah. So that was happening because he would not just sit at one place. Mm. So what the teacher did was they have these on Amazon, they have these special seats to put it on the chair. Wiggle so seat. it's the same thing because yeah. he's oh. smart too, you to and it depends. Uh, a wiggle seat. Y y a wiggle seat, and there is a cushion kind of a thing that will put on your chair. So oh. that has been put on his chair okay. because sitting straight thirty minutes yes. is not going to work for my child. Mm. So she, within one week, she realized it and she said, and I take it so personally because I'm in the classroom I all feel the like time. So fail. I'm like, I don't know what to do. She said. Okay, I'll try to handle it. And now it has worked that way. Mm. So she ordered that seed, mm -hmm. and he sits on that cushion thingy, and then he's relaxed. He's oh, sitting like and that. he's doing the work. Okay. Because he had the similar problem. You do the work and you're yeah. done, and then fidgeting with this pencil, do? that book, this Well, thing. thank goodness for Amazon. I'm going to have that by the end of the day. <laughs> I so. think that's the opposite. I feel like it's not a mom feel on you guys. I think it's really hard to expect a child to sit in a seat for that long period of time sometimes. Yeah. I do well, too, but when all the other children car, are doing it. Right. Yes, and so. I mean, think about it as an adult. You know, when I was working in the office, you know, you're sitting there and you're getting like a little fidgety at times too. You're like, okay, well, you know, unless you're completely enthralled in like this one subject that you're working on, uh -huh. you know, you're a little restless. Okay, I'm going to get up and grab some coffee okay. or I'm going to go, you know, <clears throat> see what's going on with this issue with my, you know, coworker. So, you know, it's kind of thinking about the expectation with it, what yeah. you're expecting the kids to do and what you as an adult need in your day-to-day -day It's life. okay to walk around the classroom, but then other kids getting disturbed mm -hmm. is an issue. So that I think a child should understand yeah. the boundaries in the classroom. Yeah, I think they have something like a fidget ball, too. They had different things that oh, were yeah. different. Oh, yeah. 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 They have the yeah. cubes. They have yes. the cubes. Yeah. Yeah. They let the kids do that yeah. quietly at their desk so it doesn't interrupt anybody else. Good, I you like that. You get them something to do 
granted that they <coughs> show responsibility in getting their work done. Yeah, okay. so once they're work done and they yeah. are they're smart enough to get their work done, yeah. so they, there is a place uh, in the classroom which is made for those kids. Yeah. Oh, I okay. like that. You just go there and that. use that, yeah. yeah. Okay. We have bigger classrooms. Thank God. I really so. love it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so. Um, because we've had such a great uh, conversation, um, we're gonna speed up a little bit now. So consider this a speed round, okay? okay. 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 I'm gonna give you three different scenarios. Tell me how you would respond no, I mean, I'm not timing you, but you go, dee 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 boom, whatever. <laughs> okay, scenario one, you're at the mall, your child asks to visit the toy store and wants a gift. When you say no, your child throws the biggest tantrum, screaming, crying, throwing themselves on the floor, but you need to get the rest of the shopping done. What do you do? Bing. Oh, absolutely not. What do you do, quickly? Whew, I mean, I would be absolutely livid. I would be absolutely mean devil mommy and you're done, you lose every single thing, you have five seconds to stop crying and you're gonna stand next to me, and if you don't, we are absolutely out of here and you will not leave your room for the day. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay, that was a good one. Okay, so scenario two, this is either gonna be, I'm gonna keep moving, Summer T or Princeton, I want you guys to chime in on this okay. one, okay? Your child loudly draws attention to a stranger's physical appearance in an <gasps> elevator. What do you do? So, so, first of all, it's really hard for me because I laugh very easily. My son is funny. However, <laughs> um, the first thing I'm doing is stop. That's an adult. He knows in our home, when they're adults speaking, that's not your place. You don't address adult without asking someone for permission to speak to them. Wow, first. okay. Secondly, <clears throat> when we go and you do something like this, nine times out of 10, he'll continue. It's a grab by the arm, the hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you five seconds to figure this out. If not, we're gonna do a little workout. So how we address it is a physical workout. And he has to do what we call wall sitting. Oh, okay. So he does wall sitting where he sits on the wall, his thighs parallel to the ground, mm -hmm. he holds his hands out. Yeah. And yeah. you hold that until wall daddy gets tired. Wall sitting, okay. So that way it's it. a physical, mm -hmm. um, it's a physical addressing, but it's not Taking out the negative right. energy. Okay. Yeah. Right. A yeah. last scenario, and somebody this won't be for you, no pressure. It's your kid's <laughs> birthday. After someone, after opening someone's gift, he or she tosses it aside and asks, what else is there? What do you do? Okay, so that has been a rule in my house that we don't need uh, open presents in front of the guest. Oh. We open presents, and the kids can open presents, but they, they only play with one present in one month. They cannot just open all the presents and play with all of them. Mm, I like that. So this might not happen but if this happens then i would have to uh, I, ha I would have to tell them that uh this is what you have you get what you get and you don't throw a fit i like it okay so yeah. i think we got great information here today i want to thank you all for being here again today's topic manners how do you get your kids to behave of course we have this on youtube you can always write comments if you have a comment or i think some of these parents gave really good suggestions let them know i uh, thank you for joining us today on three moms and a dad and we hope to have you back next week